<laughs> hi guys and um, welcome back to my channel my name is ifi artistry if this is your first time seeing my video you are highly welcome and if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for watching my videos and um welcome back okay guys so in today's video i'm going to be transforming my clients she's my student she's my client she's my sister and everything like this this particular video is full with um uh talks and gist and everything yeah so um you should not really bother it was when i was editing the video that i realized that we really did talk a lot so please just bear with us okay guys so the first thing first i started with cleaning her face um with my, my um, micellar water to remove any hidden dirt from her skin especially when uh, she has a very a very very high oil, oil, oily skin so i have to clean the face to remove all that any dirt on her skin so after cleaning the face i use the fan to dry up um the water from the micellar water and then we have to go over to moisturizing her skin for this uh, for the sake of this video i'm going to be using the um, um cedar fuel moisturizer so i use that to moisturize and hydrate her skin so the reason why we use moisturizer on the skin is to um is to sorry <laughs> it's to hydrate the skin because you would want the face to be hydrated before you do the makeup because if you don't hydrate the skin before you start doing the makeup or for any reason um the skin might actually get dried along the way especially somebody that have oily skin you need the skin to be hydrated of course you guys know that hydration is very different from um very different from oil okay so um you you have to know that so after putting the um, moisturizer on her face i have to go ahead and then blend very very well use my hand to massage it into the skin and make sure that all the oil is gone okay guys so after that i have to go ahead and equally um use my meron skin prep to um just you know like prep her t-zone areas the places that will produce sweat because this is her birthday gram her birthday glam and she might be going out with the makeup not my she will be the going out with the makeup so i want to control or um sweat so after that i'm using my um classic mattifying product so i'm using that to mattify her t-zone as well the places that produce oil not just her t-zone i think i mattified every other place like all, all uh, the rest of her face um equally down except the under eyes you can see so i'm putting my mattifier around those places my mattifying primer around those places just to help me control the oil from her face because her face is really really very 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 oily okay so after putting that on i use my kiss beauty setting spray to you know set and lock in everything i've done on her face and after that we probably use the fan to dry it up yeah like i said we talked a lot in the video okay guys so i'm uh, moving on i'm going to be putting on my foundations i'm using the jedris cosmetics foundation no the jedris cosmetics foundation is a very um lightweight foundation guys so i'm using that and then um, L um sorry lolel true match um yeah i mix the both of them together and i'm using that on her face okay guys so um, um after putting that on the face i begin to blend the foundations so i'm um, equally being like very light-handed because my beauty sponge is really really damp is really really uh soft you know working with a soft beauty blender will make your work easy okay guys so moving on i'm using the younger beauty concealer in the shade zero two that is not zero two that is smc2 but it's in number two guys so i'm using their share their concealer in that shade in the inner part of her um um her highlighted places and then i'm using the um nuban beauty concealer in the shade 043 so um i place those on the face and this one is going like it's supposed to be in the outer part but like is equally very light so after that i went into um the zikel cosmetics concealer in the shade zikel cafe that is the shade that is a bit darker so i placed it in the outer part okay guys so you guys have to deal with me sometimes when i'm i'm making voiceovers and i keep contradicting words you know that i make these voiceovers like off heart okay so yeah of course products remembering all of them and their names 
it's not actually an easy job so i'm doing my best honestly if i didn't really get it right then go to my description and we are going to see it there okay guys so after that after the placement i begin to blend them in i am blending in to her skin and uh, while blending in i'm going to be leaving the under part the first concealer that i place i'm going to be leaving them there for a while to actually dry up because um i want it to get tacky because these concealers they're very very lightweight like i said i am one person that works with concealers that are lightweight so if a brand actually give me their product and it's not lightweight like it's not at least easy to blend I, I would hardly work with that product okay yeah and um that is it i don't want something that i'm going to be working with and it will be very difficult for me except like probably i don't know but like if i'm working for myself just like i'm doing right now i have to use product that is good for myself to use okay guys so after placement i'm blending everything in i have to use a foundation um uh foundation shade that is actually this foundation shade is not really very dark like it should be for her contour but i don't know why i'm using it to create the contour though but after that i just place it and you know blending the contour but like i'm not i'm not really thinking that is contouring like the way you should contour because <laughs> contour should be darker <laughs> right so after that i begin to add a dimension on her face using my blush like definition not dimension if we so i'm defining her face with my blush just not really defining that much i'm just like adding like these beautiful colors on her face so i'm using the um what is it called the vishamid less cosmetics lip stain and then that is the pink shade the red shade is my milani lip stain the milani lip stain that is red i don't know the name of that lip stain but that's what i'm using so i use the both of them that's not actually the, that milani is not really the best honestly i will really still prefer my uh, my um what is it called the bicham ageless cosmetics but but um at that point the uh, my red shade from that product is not with me okay guys so um after doing this i begin to blend the uh, remaining uh, concealer that i left in her under eyes there's this concealer i left in the under eyes for a while so i begin to blend it in now so you can see like i have more coverage here because if concealer stays on your on your on your body or your face for a while it's going to give you coverage if you leave it there for too long it's going to dry up okay guys so um moving on i begin to set the under eyes with my certain powder the mirror cosmetics i don't know why i now work with just mirror cosmetics certain powder because i have other good certain powders anyway um so i'm working with the mirror cosmetics certain powder in the shade ginger yeah so i'm using that to set her under eyes that is it so i'm just setting the under eyes guys um i'm just setting basically nothing serious and i'm going to set and just make sure that everything is good i blend and then set because this i would want to do this because i want to secure the under eyes guys uh be careful so that i don't you know pock the client or anybody with powder or your brush like don't mind me that my hand is going as if it's i'm working like somebody else but like i'm really really being gentle as you know that i'm gisting as well so but the editing is something that i have to is being a bit faster okay guys so after that i begin to set the rest of the face with my powder yeah so i'm using the powder palette from bichamage less cosmetics as well their powder palette is really nice honestly for me somehow this powder palette like it's it saves a lot of time it saves not just because it saves time but because the powder palette is actually a good one honestly yeah so i would rather sometimes use it than you know using compact powders because somehow i see the effect of the compact powder even with this except if i'm working on brides that i have to use my big um mac powder or i'm using like sephora powder 
okay guys so moving on i begin to set i'm just setting the contour as well so after setting her the rest of her face i use a darker shade of the powder and then set the contour okay guys one thing i don't do is to set with just powder everywhere on the face so if i'm setting the contour i'm setting the contour with a contour shade if i'm setting the highlight i'm setting the highlight with a i don't know if you understand there is no reason why i should already create a contour and then come when when i'm setting it and set with just normal powder i just feel like that just waste of powder waste of my time as well so why not go ahead and set with the powder shade that i used there already okay guys so after doing this i just set my blush with my blush palette and then i'm moving on to the brows so first of all i'm taming down the brows you guys already know how i do that i tame down the brows first with my edge control or the brow tamer and when i do i slick it down with the tip of the brush and after that i begin i set the brows with my setting powder this this setting powder is from beauty by ad setting powder in the shade amber i guess so yeah that's the shade amber so i begin to set that after setting i dust it out immediately i don't let it sit there for a while i just dust it out okay so after dusting it out i begin to make out an outline i'm using the kahaga and esther um brow gel in the shade in the shade nubia yeah so i'm using the Haga and esther brow gel in the shade nubia and i'm using my uh, my brush is from Mera Cosmetics. Yeah, it's not only my client that is talking, I'm equally talking. Yeah, I okay, guys. So, in the shade Nubia, so I'm using the both of them to outline the brows. Yeah, so I'm just gently making the outline because, of course, I would want to create something good and something nice. Yeah, so. That is it basically. Just be careful. I hope you really understand how brows have been outlined. I'm just trying my best to make sure that the lines are so neat. I'm not really going above her hairline. So when I slick down the brows, I make sure that um, the, the brow hairs are up. That is why I have to carve myself to make sure I carve it in the shape that I would want when I'm outlining so because I just follow the shape basically. Yeah, that's why if somebody carved brows for me, probably it might be difficult for me to draw that brows. Okay, guys, so after that, I'm using my pencil, the Davis pencil in the shade 03. I'm using that to fill in the brows. So I'm just making light, light, light strokes, especially the beginning of the brows. So towards the ending of the brows, I can I shade them down. I make it a bit darker. Yeah, but the beginning of the brows is just light strokes. I just make light, light, light strokes there and then we move on. Okay, guys, so after doing that, I have to go ahead and conceal the brows. I'm concealing with the Zikel Cosmetics, of course. So, um, um, a Zika Cosmetics um, concealer, yeah, because it's lightweight. I say that all the time. Okay, guys, so I know you guys will be asking why I use most of the product. Like, yeah, of course, yeah, most of my product I use almost, yeah, when I love a product, of course, I stick with that most of the times. Like, if it's really giving me what I want, yeah, so why, why should I change? That is it for me yeah because it's not as if i can now use another thing and work sometimes but for these brows like if i see that this works better for me so yeah of course i can equally try other things it's not as if i've not equally tried other things yeah i do try a lot of things because before i begin to choose but even at that uh it's still better i work with something i'm comfortable with especially when i'm working on a client okay guys so after doing this i just you know after concealing the brows i just blended the concealer and then i move over to the upper part of the brows just to outline and just you know just highlighting the brows basically because this brows is already neat and it doesn't really need that much of concealing it doesn't really need too much just do a little thing and we are good and after that i go ahead and blend everything together as well after blending i go ahead and set the brows with my powder so for the powder guys, you, you guys will have to understand that the reason why I set the brows, I think I've said this in 1000 times in my videos. Yeah, I have to set these brows. Uh, some people will not set with the powder. They just go ahead with eyeshadow ball. That is not who I am. I said because I like to be, I like to be in a position where I'm comfortable. 
So I'm not going to be comfortable working on my eyeshadow when the brows is not set with powder because I'll feel like if my hand touch the brows, I might actually ruin it. You can see I don't use powder puff to do anything, eyeshadow anything on the face. I just, you know, work on it like that because I know I have already set everywhere. I'm in control. Everything is okay. Nothing should be messing up. Anything. Do you understand me? Yeah, so that is it. Okay guys, so I'm um, moving on. I'm, I I bake the face. Yeah, that's the point. I, I bake the face with still the Mera Cosmetics setting powder in the shade Ginger. After doing that, I move over to the eyeshadow. I'm using the um, Benai Clan White eyeshadow uh, primer uh, to prime the eyes and get it ready for eyeshadow. So after priming the eyes, I go ahead with um, creating my transition first so the first thing I do you know, when, while creating eyeshadow is to first of all create my transition so you would want to create your transition to transition your eyeshadow yeah to transition the eyeshadow uh, into the brow bone yeah that's the reason why we added we add a transition so my transition used to be mostly a light brown it can be from any palette honestly just a light brown use browns most of the times light browns you can go into a darker one but you start with a lighter one first then you go into a darker one or you start with the darker one and blend it out with lighter shades yeah that can equally work so doing that after creating that i probably created a darker shade in the outer part and then i begin to place the main eyeshadow i just go ahead and placed and placed and placed and blended and make sure there is no harsh lines because the look i'm creating yeah so when is i'm um, doing a bit day glam except if requested a particular heavy look if not so i go for a lighter glam because of course nobody wants to look like that excessively too much on their bed days they mostly want soft glam yeah because yeah that's one of the reasons why i probably go with something lighter yeah okay guys so after that i line the eyes i'm lining the eyes with my eyeshadow what did i just say sorry i'm lining the eyes with my <laughs> liner with my gel liner black gel liner yeah so i'm just being careful and being like you know taking my time after that i probably line the down part of the eyes guys so that is it so lining and being easy and all that okay so after lining i go ahead and fix her lashes and then we go over to removing the certain powder that is in her under eyes and every other part of the face that i left it i'm going to go ahead and remove it that's what i'm doing already so remove and then blend the face again set everything i've already done everything settable um everything is already set anyway just to you know we emphasize on the face and after that i use my setting spray to set again set the face set the rest of the face you know guys so after setting and doing everything in order and putting everything together i have to go over to the lips so i'm using a light brown and a quality um no it's actually a dark brown um lip stain but i mix with it my orange shade this have really come to be my go-to lip 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 work. I, there is a time I used to create my dad's lips, so I don't really know what is wrong with me now that I'm no longer creating. But guys, yeah, just wash out because the old face coming back. Like she's she's on her way back. I'll start creating the mother's look again. You guys, you guys, I'm coming. Okay, guys. So after blending out the lips, I go ahead and I added a nude shade. Of lip stain you know just added that and asked the client to smack she smacked her lips and then I begin to blend yeah so that is it basically but like you know one funny thing with me right um, yeah I don't just even do like this lips should be okay it's good for me no it's not good for me yeah it's not as if it's not good for me but i have to still do that extra why am i doing the extra i don't know but i still have to do it because yeah the simple doesn't really work that's my my language is not in my dictionary yeah doing this they doing the most that's it that's what it's called is doing the most so i added a, a light um 
um, orange shade I blended it out and after that I have to, go, I have to still go ahead I added the brown that I used in the first instance again I'm added the, I'm adding the brown again so just to me I, I think what I'm just trying to do here is to make that lips lifted so I'm trying to create that illusion that shows that the lift, lips is kind of boggy in the upper part yeah so that's how I create that Okay guys, so after that I begin to add the gloss and um, yeah, even when adding the gloss, she's still talking. Yeah, she still have to talk. <laughs> yeah, but that's because I'm still just in her though. So guys, after that, um, I added the gloss on her and um, yeah, everything is okay. I love the lips. Yeah, I, I used to like when I, I'm done creating this type of lips and I add the gloss. Like, it just makes a whole lot of difference. Like, it, it makes a whole lot of difference. Okay, guys, so after that, um, I added my Soap Pro Spray on her face. Spray that and then, you know, like this Soap Pro Spray doesn't really show what it is in the video. If you see it in real life, you are going to understand why it's called Soap Pro okay guys so um this is actually the end of the video i hope you love this video as much as i do please do not forget to subscribe to my channel put on your post notification share my video love it subscribe and i love you i'll see you next time bye